initial impressions of is the Williamon blade, which uh, was in the box and came out with this, which is lovely. It's a very nice wooden box with the Williamon logo on it. Very nice touch here, the little shavings on the uh, inside. That's very nice. So we'll open this out. And what we have is some foam with some silk or synthetic silk over it. And we have the sword, the suba, the tanto here wrapped in plastic so we can remove that. And we have this, which is just lovely. That's fantastic. That is a gorgeous shade of red. That is much deeper in life than it appeared on the show. And again, this was in styrofoam wrapped in this synthetic silk. Okay, fittings are very solid, very, very nice. Excellent, it's got a lovely dragon motif here. The Sagio, soft cotton, not synthetic, it doesn't appear to be. The fit between this and the side appears to be very solid. The wrap, I think, might be, it doesn't feel like synthetic cotton, which is nice. A uh, little bit of exposure here between the wood and the semi, just there. But the wrap itself is quite secure. Manuki are nice, although this one appears to be slightly off to the side. That needs to be more centered. This one on the rear is centered. Uh, very, very nice job overall though. So let's have a look at the blade. The Syed, no buffalo horn on the Koaguchi, but well carved. No cracks, that's nice. And the blade here is covered in a bit of dirt, but this is a Damascus steel blade, so it's got lovely grain patterns. It's got lovely hara in it. That is very, oh, that is gorgeous looking. Again, I'm sure you can see that in the video. Again, I'll give you good HD shots of all of this in the full review. The Habaki is very plain but very nicely finished. It is excellent with the blade. Seppa is nice. Blade feels quite nice and dexterous in the hands, which is lovely. Yeah, that's very nice. Yeah, it plays around well. The, the uh, wrap is not entirely unpleasant. It's got a good sized sky. You can get a good grip on this. Ah, now, that's a bit worrying. That blade is warped. That blade is bent. That is about one centimeter off from the center line. That is very disappointing. Uh, that is so beautiful and yet, so disappointing. Um, so you can see where that is coming off quite substantially. Again, you can see even there the gap coming off. That is quite a substantial bend in it. That's, that's very disappointing. Bent. Well, that's a shame. Uh, not unsalvageable, but it's definitely bent. Oh, that is a shame. Well, let's see how it does for sharpness. Again, we're going to be doing full Tamishigiri tests of this and all the tantos uh, I received today, but we'll see how it stacked up in the old paper cutting test. Yeah, certainly sharp. Yeah, there's a couple of... Wow. So, pass with the paper cutting test, certainly. It's sharp enough, which is excellent. Uh, just a shame that that blade is, is bent. Not unsalvageable, however. Um, so with a little bit of work, that could be a very, very nice blade. 
Excellent. So that is my initial impressions of the Riumon Damascus Tanto. And again, I'll give you links for where you can get one of these. And you'll get links to the full review and a comparison of this and several other Tanto on my website, wayofthesamurai.com. And you'll have those links below in this video. But that's my initial impressions of the Riumon Tanto. Lovely.